Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to know and learn the names of all the prime ministers of India from 1947 to 2021. But before you start watching this video, please do subscribe to Knowledge Myriad to watch, know and learn more such GK related videos. So, without further delay, let us begin. <music> The prime minister is the chief executive of the government of India. The prime minister is usually the leader of the party or alliance that has a majority in the Lok Sabha, which is the lower house of the Parliament of India. The prime minister is appointed by the president. Since 1947, India has had 14 prime ministers. Jawaharlal Nehru the first prime minister of independent india he served india from 15th august 1947 till 27th may 1964 that is for a period of 16 years to 86 days he belonged to the indian national congress he is the longest serving prime minister of india he is the first prime minister of india to have died in office After Jawaharlal Nehru's sudden death in 1964, Gulzari Lal Nanda was the acting Prime Minister of India. He was there in office for 13 days, from 27th May 1964 to 9th June 1964. He was India's first acting Prime Minister. Nehru was succeeded by Lal Bahadur Shastri. the second prime minister of india he served india from 9th june 1964 till 11th january 1966 his one year 216 days term ended with his death he has given the outstanding slogan jai jawan jai kisan during the indo pak war of 1965 after Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri's sudden death Gulzari Lal Nanda became the acting prime minister of India for the second time from 11th January 1966 to 24th January 1966 that is for a period of 13 days Indira Gandhi Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru's daughter succeeded Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri and became the third Prime Minister of India. She served as Prime Minister of India from 24th January 1966 to 24th March 1977, that is, for 11 years 59 days. She was the first and till date the only female Prime Minister of India. After Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, Moradji Desai became the fourth and the first non-Congress Prime Minister of India. He was there in office from 24th March 1977 to 28th July 1979 for a period of two years, one twenty-six days. He belonged to the Janata Party. At the age of eighty-one, he became the oldest person to hold the office. of prime minister of india he is also the first prime minister of india to resign from the office after prime minister morarji desai resigned in 1979 charan singh held the office for 170 days that is from 28th july 1979 to 14th january 1980 to become the fifth prime minister of india He is the only Indian Prime Minister who did not face the Parliament. After Prime Minister Charan Singh, Indira Gandhi returned to office as Prime Minister of India on 14th January 1980 and continued till 31st October 1984. She became the first female Prime Minister of India who served the office for the second term. 
She is also the second longest serving Indian Prime Minister after her father, Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. After Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, her son Rajiv Gandhi became the sixth Prime Minister of India. He was the Prime Minister from 31st October 1984 to 2nd December 1989, that is, for a period of five years, 32 days. He became the Prime Minister at the age of 40, so he became the youngest Prime Minister of India. Vishwanath Pratap Singh succeeded Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, becoming the seventh Prime Minister of India. He was in office for 343 days, that is, from 2nd December 1989 to 10th November 1990. He is the first Prime Minister of India to step down after a vote of no confidence. After Vishwanath Pratap Singh, Chandra Shekhar served as the 8th Prime Minister of India between 10th November 1990 and 21st June 1991, that is for a period of 223 days. He is the first Indian Prime Minister who has never held any government office. He was the Prime Minister of India for the second shortest period after Charan Singh. After Prime Minister Chandrasekhar, P. V. Narasimha Rao took charge of the office as the ninth Prime Minister of India. He served the office for four years, 330 days from 21st June 1991 to 16th May 1996. He is the first Prime Minister from South India. Prime Minister P. V. Narasimha Rao was succeeded by Atal Vihari Bajpai, the 10th Prime Minister of India, who served the office from 16th May 1996 to 1st June 1996 for a period of 16 days. He was the Prime Minister for the shortest period of time. H. D. Devegaura H. D. Devegaura, sworn in as the 11th Prime Minister of India and took over the office on 1st June 1996 and continued till 21st April 1997. Indar Kumar Gujral became the 12th Prime Minister of India and served the office from 21st April 1997 to 19th March 1998. His tenure lasted for less than a year. After Prime Minister Gujral, Prime Minister Atal Vihari Bajpai served again as the Prime Minister of India for a period of 13 months from 19th March 1998 to 10th October 1999 and for the third time for a full five-year term from 10th October 1999 to 22nd May 2004. He was the first Indian non-Congress Prime Minister to serve a full term in office. After Prime Minister Atal Vihari Bajpai, Manmohan Singh took over as the 13th Prime Minister of India on 22nd May 2004 and continued till 26th May 2014. He was the first Sikh Prime Minister of India. He is also the first Prime Minister since Jawaharlal Nehru to have been re-elected after completing a full five-year term. Prime Minister Narendra Modi succeeded Prime Minister Manmohan Singh to become the 14th and the current Prime Minister of India since 26th May 2014. He is the first Prime Minister of India to have been born after India's independence from the British Empire in 1947. He is the fourth longest serving Prime Minister of India and the longest serving non-Congress Prime Minister. He is also the second non-Congress Prime Minister to have won 
two consecutive elections. If you have liked the video, please do give a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. Also do write in the comment section below which GK related video you want to see next. Also, do not forget to subscribe to Knowledge Myriad and press the bell icon so that you get notification whenever we post any such educational videos. So keep watching and stay safe.